Hey, what's happening guys? In this video, let's try and understand a little bit more about Arrayalists and uh, Arrays. And by the way, in this video, I'm going to convert specifically integer array list into an integer array. I chose this because uh, there are some, some intricacies involved. Uh, number one is, I mean, the number one and every intricacy is that, you know, this integer is a wrapper integer, right? We don't, we don't have int like this, but what if an array list doesn't allow to, to add values like this? So we have to add int e g e r. But what if I want to convert this integer list, which is int e g e r integer into something like this int array values okay and then i'm going to say integer array of array values so i want to convert from integer list into int array values let me make it int array values how do i do this well to make this happen we have to do we have to do something like this I would say int array values equals and then I'm going to pass this entire integer list to the function that I'm going to create now I'm going to say convert integer to int and then you pass in integer list now if I do something like this and end this with a semicolon obviously we have not created this method right so let's uh, ask IntelliJ to do that for us. Create method convert to int. You see IntelliJ, IntelliJ you know, very, very, uh, very intelligently, let me just make this public for, for our convenience sake, uh, very intelligently took our parameters and then converted uh, a function header. You know, so it's a public static, static because we are going to reference this method in our static main method or maybe if you want to put this in a class and then reference it from the class that's still fine so that's why we have static and then it's going to return int array integer convert integer to int the name of the method and then it's going to take in a list of wrapper integer and then we'll call it integer list that's pretty good now i'm going to just create uh, an array I'll call it this and then I'll say result. Now, so this is our results. Let, uh, let's just return result. Okay, but before we return result, we have to do certain things. First of all, we have to say it's a new int. That's going to be the size of the uh, array list. So integer list is the array, uh, array list, right? So what is the size of the array? Exactly the same uh, size as the array list, right? So we have integer list dot size, which is the array list. Okay, now all we have to do is we have to go through every single element and then add it into our result array. But how do we do that? Well, we can do that by, first of all, again, let's go back to our iterator. So let us first create an iterator that's going to be an iterator for integer list, which is a collection. So integer list dot iterator. That's cool. Now we have the iterator ready. Next is we have to see if let us, uh, you know, we have to go through every single element in the integer list and then add it to the result. How do we do that? We could do while, but I'm not going to do while. I'm not going to do while iterator dot has next and then uh, and then what can I do? Uh, I cannot do something like this result equals iterator dot next. Can you tell me why? Because result is an array, right? So you have to reference it with an index. So in order for that to happen, I'm going to use a for loop a regular for loop that we all know for int i equals zero and then i less than less than the size of the 
result right result dot length either you can say result dot length or you can say integer list dot size it's up to you as long as whatever works for you you can do it but i prefer integer list dot size but actually this is a bad practice you know what let me do result dot length it's all the same if you if you watched my previous video you know what dot length is doing or dot size is doing anyway if you don't know please go and check it out um it's a it's it's in the list if you are watching it from a playlist anyway now i'm going to go through every single element that is why i have this for loop and i'm going to open a pair of bracket and pair of brackets okay now i'm going to say result of i equals result of i equals iterator dot next so what we are trying to what we are trying to tell the compiler is okay okay java compiler as long as there is a value uh, in the iterator just put that value into that result array and then we have i value that keeps on incrementing so let's just think about the, think about a case so it could be something like this if result of 0 let's say i is running in 0 uh, if i equals 0 then we get iterator dot next so let us say iterator has a value uh, 22 then we are telling uh, for zeroth place in the array we want that 22 to be gone inside the result array likewise when when i becomes 1 then it would be result of 1 that's going to be iterator dot next which is that it's going to be it's going to be the next value right so which is in our case 35 if it's 2 it's going to look for the next value and then and so on and so forth but this is our idea which is pretty decent but then we have an issue here what is the issue uh, it says oh I'm able to find an object I'm not able to find an integer so what we do is we are going to do what is called as a type casting we are type type casting means it's basically converting from one data type to another data type so initially in, in iterator dot next was returning the object data type but then we are converting that object data type into an integer data type so so that this entire result array is going to contain all the integer values which is what we want small i and t it's not a wrapper i and t e g e r right so this is our simple way to basically convert and then just to make sure that everything is fine i'm going to print it out and then let us see arrays dot to string and then int array values okay so if you notice why I used two string if you want to print an array uh, you know I used two string right so why do you want to use two string if you want to print an array you have to do explicitly two string okay now if we run this and see tada we have basically 5 35 75 105 where is that coming from basically we did we converted a wrapper integer to a regular integer using this method convert integer to int and then you saw the logic and then finally we've converted an array list of integers into an array of integer i hope uh, this video makes sense to you and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share in the next video probably uh, we're going to talk about uh, sorting and such. Thank you.